Tawny is tired of her mom seeking attention. Tawny, what's going on? Well, Jerry, before anything, I do want to let you know I'm a huge fan of yours, so well, I you. want to thank you. Yes. I want to thank you for bringing me on the show, sure. but I have a huge problem. What's that? Well, my mom, she's the town oh, and I hate oh. it. Yes, that, that must I be hate awkward it. for you. It yeah. is, yeah. You know, ever since I was a little girl, she got all kinds of compliments. You know, at first, I was like, awesome, this is great. I'm going to look good when I am her age. Yeah. But as I'm getting older, I find it annoying, you know? Sure. When we go out in public, you know, everyone's catcalling her and all that. You know, everyone thinks she's my sister and not my mother. Yeah, yeah. That's well, good. you know, after her divorce, though, this is what really changed oh. her, you know? She got a divorce. She's act different. She's changed a lot. Mm. She's acting like she's 20 again, you know, mm. wearing slutty outfits, yeah. booty shorts, hanging out with guys my age. I'm 21, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Going out to parties, never coming home. You know, I got to worry about her. Oh, I see. So you've become the parent. I've become sense. the parent. So here's the biggest problem, Jerry. Yeah. I've been talking to this guy, right? You know, his yeah. name's Daryl. We've yes. been talking two to three months. You know, I wanted to make him my boyfriend. I really like this guy. Yeah. One night we're just chilling in his room and he's talking to me and he brings up my pregnant sister. And I'm like, wait a second, you know, I've never talked about my sister. I, I don't talk about her. And I'm like, how did you even know this? Like, who have you been talking to behind yeah. my back? It was hard to get it out of him, but he finally told me, he ran into my mom on the street, oh. right? So I'm like, okay, that sounds really fishy. I know yeah. my mom, she's sneaky, you know? Yeah. So later, la later that night, he fell asleep. I go through his phone. What else am I supposed to do? Of course. I, you know, you have to go through his phone. It's the decent you thing are to do. never gonna guess what I found, Jerry. Naked pictures of my mother. <laughs> Naked pictures of my mother on my boyfriend's phone. Oh, oh, these pictures. You know, the first one, she was like wearing all lace. It was cute, red, you know, high heel boots up to her knees. Yeah. But the second one, oh. Oh, tell me about the second one. The second one. one. I mean, no, I mean, tell yeah, me right? about it. Yeah. Totally nude. Oh. Just her hands covering up her nipples. Oh. Just, she's got nice boobs, though. They're fake, but. My boyfriend doesn't need to be seeing that. Well, no. You, you, why would a mother be sending naked pictures of herself to? That's what I'm saying. So, of course, you know, I get mad. Yes. I'm, I'm pissed should. off. Yeah. Like, so I ask him, right? Guess what he says? Well, you know, she was sending them to me. Oh, I, what was I supposed to say? I thought I deleted them. You thought you deleted them, oh, Daryl? No. Oh, I was so mad. So I call her. Yeah. Let, let me tell you something about my mom. Her motto, ever since I could remember, ever since I was a little girl, has always been deny, 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 deny until you die. So what do you think she did? What do you think she did, Jerry? If she didn't die, she's probably still denying. <laughs> she's denying it. I, I'm like, how can you deny it when I saw the pictures? But I, I've just given her the silent treatment. Mm. I've not talked to her, cold, cold shoulder. For well, at least wait, a week how could now. she deny that she sent them when they're here? She's been denying everything. So that's why I brought her on the show, Jerry. I mm. brought her on to get the truth. Okay. <clears throat> here is your mom, Angie. <laughs> Tony, you are overreacting. You and Daryl are not that serious. He's into me. He's not into you. He's more my age than yours. We have more in common. You're but just you acting like a little. Me. You're acting like a little child. Mom, you lied to me. I lied to you because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. He asked for pictures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I, I just, I want to know why you do stuff like this. Like ever since I can remember, you've always done stuff like this. Like even if he asked for them. You should have enough respect for me not to send those to him. Okay. Like, enough respect for me. I don't have respect for you anymore because you're disrespectful to me. 
Why have I done to You're you, ungrateful. Mom? You're ungrateful. I'm ungrateful. Just pause. Wait. Just pause. Why? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Why would you? I mean, it's your daughter. If you know the guy is seeing your daughter, even if just for a week or whatever, what, wouldn't you just say, well, I'm not, you know, I'm staying away from that. That's my daughter. There's no relationship in the world more important. He's just into me. He's spontaneous. I'm spontaneous. I don't yeah. care what Tawny wants. I want you what really I want. You really don't? No. Your own daughter? No. So what does Daryl say? Why don't we ask him? Well, he's your boyfriend, right? He doesn't this want is me. your daughter. I mean, it's not an equal relationship. This is the most important person in your life. She. You gave birth to her. This is it. Nothing else matters. Seriously, grow up. You're 42 years old. It's time to grow up, Mom. All right, well, let's bring out Daryl. Here's Daryl. Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. listen, listen. Hey guys, come on What the, what the hell, Daryl? Like, I thought you were different. Listen, listen. You listen. made all these broken promises. You told all, all these lies. Well, look, look, look. No, you I immature, don't even want to Immature, listen. first off, immature. Okay, you, you, you yawn. You still got a little growing up to do. You know what I mean? But me on the other hand, you, you weren't know? saying that when we were having sex at your work. Like. <laughs> Yeah, the sex was good. I ain't gonna trip about that. It was good, but at the same time, you know, you still, you still got, I feel like you want me to chase you. I'm not gonna chase you. I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna do all that chasing. Then why not say that in the beginning? Like, why, I don't understand you were using me to get to my mom. Like, you told me all these things. You're nothing but a Like, you just. Gary, how you doing, son? And you just, you lied about everything. Look, you can what? be, look, it's your decision, you'll be with who you want. But just separate yourself from all this for a second. It's her mother. Right. My mom, so, Daryl. So at some point, shouldn't you first make up your mind whether you're going for daughter or mom? I should have, Jared, honestly, I should have, I should have, I had my own mom in the first place, you know what I mean? Well, I should have. Then you should have gone for her first. I'm not he saying who you should have chosen. Me. I'm saying once you enter the family, you can't be switching. You know what, Jerry? You know, my saying is this. She ain't had no business going through my phone anyway. It's all time wow. fault. She ain't had this no business going through my phone. So, you know. You had you go, no business lying, Daryl. When you go looking for trouble, that's what I'm saying. You're immature. When you go looking for trouble, you find if it. If you, you could have just no been, been a grown phone. man and told me. What you mean? I don't want to be with you. I want to be with your mother. Like, grow up. You, but. <laughs> But you should have known from the jump, though. It wasn't. It what? wasn't nothing like that. What? I was never even your boyfriend. So like, I was never even your boyfriend. So you blowing it all out of proportion. You know, your mother. No, but we talked about stuff. You made it seem like we were going to be there. We were going to get there at some point. You told me you were different. That you weren't like the other guys. You knew about my ex, and you knew what I went through. And you said things were going to be different. Yeah, we weren't dating, but you said that things were going to be different. Okay, you lied. here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is all temporary. And this may, in fact, be temporary. You know, you're going to move on in life. She'll move on in life. What isn't going to change? You two. And that seems to me unbelievable. Family is forever, Jerry. This has to be repaired. You'll find another guy at some point. And you'll find another woman. This isn't the last woman you're ever going to be with. And he's not the last man you're ever going to be with. No, and, and let me say one thing, daughter, Jerry. Mother, daughter, Jesus, guys, what are you doing? Let me say one thing, Jerry, if I can. 
You want to be with her. Yeah. But give it a week. Give it two weeks. You know what she's going to do? She's going to be back with somebody else. She's going to leave you like garbage on the street. She'll so? have a new boyfriend. You're going to miss this right here. So go for her. Yeah. The one missing out. Not me. Right. I go find somebody else that has a better job. He's a janitor, by the way. We had sex <laughs> at his work, right? Okay. But I'm saying right now, your anger is misdirected. This is a boyfriend I, right. of one of many you'll have in life. And he's a boyfriend of one of many you have in life. If you guys don't fix this, you'll always regret it. We'll be back. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.